Yeah, see. Now we also have some artists here, don't we? Yep. Who do we have here for artists, Mary? Brad Foster, Priscilla Handy, Bruce Lewis, Amy Reader. Also we have Michael Poe, Brian Dunham, and okay, there is a name on this on this card, and he's not here. And that name is Mr. Steve Bennett. Now, many of you may know Steve is typically an Akon regular. He comes over from Japan every year to be here. He's also one of the wildest partiers that I've ever met. I could almost call him a 15 year volunteer at this point. Yes, but Steve could not make it this year, unfortunately. Due to the earthquake. Due to the earthquake, what's going on? He's Japan okay, he's but. Yeah, he's still in Japan. He's okay, but the people who he works with weren't, so he could not actually get the time off of work to come here and be with us, so we are. We, we miss him. We do have a special message from Steve Bennett. Yes, we do. He did videotape a message and sent it to us, so Thank can we go that? I love that video. It was all done in silhouette, very artistically done. That would be Steve Link for his own video. So hopefully we will get that that technical glitch fixed. We'll get that technical glitch fixed, we will. We're gonna go back to Steve. Hey, hey guys, let us know when you guys get the video ready. Yeah. Yeah, just shut the lights out yeah, whenever you want. Just kill us. Just kill us on stage, it doesn't matter. I guess they're important. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go ahead and go through industry, we industry guests while we wait for Steve's message. No. We're going to go through some industry guests while we wait for Steve's message. Well, I still have a couple of more artists to mention, oh. and then it would be Steve Horton and John Burrell. Or I am, I'm just going to ask him to And we also have some industry guests. Steve Bennett sent a special message. And the special message is because he couldn't be here, that would be the Steve Bennett video. Yeah, what well, was, yeah, Steve okay, Bennett. They don't have it? Now, if Steve didn't Somebody. write his name on it, and he, he may have just drawn a picture on the DVD, maybe. Uh, uh okay. Okay. What part is that? What part is that? Along, we do have some industry guests. We have, well, okay, we wish Steve the best. We do. We love Steve Bennett. We hope he comes back next year and we wish him the best. So let's send it up to Steve Bennett. Okay. If the video does happen to show up, if we can't find it, if it's been put somewhere where, we, you know, Steve leaves his stuff around sometimes and, well, maybe he's done this in, in absentia. But if we do find it, it will probably be broadcast on Akon TV, so you might check that channel, which is channel either three or four in the hotels. Yeah, four. four. It changes every year. This year it's four on uh, your hotel TV, so you might be checking that from time to time. So now we have some industry guests. Wow. Helen McCarthy is here. <laughs> Jake Parbox is here. Only guest here shows up at opening. I love you. And Anthony Brown right here won't make his own greet his own car. Yeah, Tony Brown is here. Somebody they pick him up the street. I don't know. He greeted. He has no shame. Kevin Good and Peter. We love you. Oh. We love you. Uh, never mind. There's more than one guest on here. Sure thing, I'm sure. <laughs> and the no, song. If you're gonna stay up here! Yeah, 
Yeah, we're, 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 we're Yeah, come on. Okay, we've had no guest torturing fun at all. No, we haven't. Where's my NOS? I got a plug of NOS. And on Mandy, is she here? Our cosplay guest. And Brent the Fall, Brent Black. Is he in the audience or is he off at his table somewhere doing video stuff? I'm not seeing anybody move. We haven't gotten can't see anybody. Period. We haven't gotten my stuff. Okay, maybe not. We also have some okay. gaming guests. Okay, speak to him real quick. You're good to go. You're done. You're done. That's okay. That's all. I'll see you on the bar later, guys. The dude is suited. And now, if you see this man in a suit all weekend, he's not with the hotel. Or the FBI. Okay, so you have some uh, gaming guests, right? Yes, and they would have been mentioned a little bit earlier in the thank yous as well. Vanessa Arteaga, Nanny Rodriguez, Swoozy, and Eric Wilde. We also have from Candlewood Games, Brian Sloan. And Monty O. And Team Ninja, Peter Garza, Yosuke Hayashi, and Boye Shibori. This is the first time these guys have ever been here. So, Convergence. Let's take care of them. We also, as usual, have guests in the writing industry. Yes, we do, but you know what? We also have something special. Ooh, special. special. This is the first time it's ever happened at Akon. Launch that is launching here at Acon for the very first time. The ladies of Drake Town book launch in Chaparral's 38th floor from 7 p.m. until 11 p.m. Saturday. There will be wait for it a bustier cake. Yeah, it was like cool. And all the writers will be there too, so. You should go up there, get some cake, and meet some writers. Yeah, the writers will be there and everything. The writers will be there, the authors, you know, that's really good. You might even get autographs on the book. That would be cool. So, but also, we, we, and here are the writers that we have. Lee Martindale. <laughs> Esther Friesner. <laughs> Terrence Lee. Laura Underwood. writer of mainstream repute. I mean, she's had books out for a long, long time. We are very, very proud to have her with us this weekend. Elizabeth is a super special one. And Peter Beagle has made a return appearance this year. And again, he's one of the few people that's actually in the room. special announcement. A couple of them. First up, graphic novel version of The Last Unicorn. Nine weeks now on the New York Times bestseller list. This is just to get the utterly shameless self-promotion up part out of the way. I'm all for that. There's the, apart from the graphic novel, there's also a new book of short stories called Sleight of Hand. And there is a Blu-ray version of The Last Unicorn. Which is the ultimate in the ultimate. And now, the big announcement. Many of you I've probably known for many years, and if you haven't, it's because I haven't been bitching loudly enough, that the Last Unicorn DVD 
has sold something like two and a half million copies around the world, for which I have not received so much as a dime either side. It has been a long battle, well over seven years, and I am deeply pleased and a little terrified to announce that the war is over. And here's the deal. In no small part because of all the support from the fans, but also because we met two extraordinary people over in England, the company that actually owns the movie, ITV, English big mega media conglomerate, it was a subsidy of theirs that was causing all the trouble and not paying him. But well, we managed to make contact with the CEO of the big company, Adam Crozier, and, and Adam, pardon me, Adam Crozier, and Andrew Garrar, who's the group legal director, and they thought that the way Peter B was being treated was just dead wrong. They were good guys in a big corporation. Yes. Try to imagine, and I know this will be as difficult for you as it is for me, try to imagine a couple of out-and-out -out capitalists with a moral sense and a notion of right and wrong. This is very strange. So, hold on this moment. A, we've reached a settlement. He's getting all the money that's owed him. B, they agree with us that the last year's board hasn't gotten the support it's supposed to have gotten, and we're actually putting their rights and our rights together and coming up with a whole new business plan that's going to unleash merchandise and new products, and, a, and in, in about a year or so, we'll, the details of the newsletter, but a completely renovated and re-released the theater's version of the movie. If we do it right, it means that in 2015, when the live action rights revert, they'll revert to us and we'll get to make a real live action film! Hey! And that's the big news! A long time back, and it's been a long time, Christopher Lee assured me that if you actually get to make a live action film of this, um, Pay no attention to the fact that I might be dead. I have risen from the dead enough times to know how it's done. Wish us luck and come talk to us at the table at Peter's conference. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Don't ever think for a minute that fans can't make a difference. We're also, making a, we are also making a difference and we're making a, an inroad into a new genre that is also connected with anime and, and costumes and things like that. We are having Dallas's first ever fashion show for Japanese costumes, like, like the one they wear in Harajuku, Tokyo Streetwear, the actual, the real clothes. It's not cosplay, it's what they really wear. This is the first time anybody's ever attempted a fashion show like this and it's being done here in Dallas at Akon first. We've always tried to do groundbreaking things, and this is a big one. <laughs> so tomorrow at 3 p 3.30 p.m. in this room, I mean, we got the catwalk, we got the designers, we got the whole shebang. And we want to welcome Fumiko from Chantilly, and you go from Atelier Perot. Look them up online. They are true fashion houses, and they costume two of the band members from our bands tonight from the Bloodstained Child. So, and they will be modeling as well as models that were picked from the fan base. So the, the models walking are y'all. So, so, Mary. Speaking of that, you know, we do have some bands here this year. First off, we have one, how do you pronounce it? Bloodstained Child. We also have, who well, I'm very happy to hear, I'm looking forward to this. Thanks. 
stage, they're getting makeup and they will be performing right after this opening ceremony is finished. So, yeah, at the end, we're going to ask you to, like, stand up, leave the room, pick your chair. Not now, not now. Not now. Oh, yeah, not yet. Wait a minute. We're missing something. We're missing something. Yes, what? What's next? Don't you usually do a rules video? Uh, I, I, I do usually do a rules video. I mean, I know you're lazy and like you wouldn't wear a costume and stuff, but really? Okay, no. well, I, I did do something. I, I, I did, I, you know, speaking of, of bands, I, I have a band. Really? I, I play guitar and see backup vocals in a band we formed about two months ago. Uh, we call Savage Gypsy. And uh, we actually, uh, oddly enough, this is very true, we, we actually started a band. I'm typically a filmmaker, but we... Um, Not a rock band one. It's kind of a dark, we kind of do gothic and steampunk kind of stuff. We've got two singles released, and we actually did a special song. Uh, this is actually the first real legitimate music video that we have done. Being as egg almost coming up, we've been in the studio, we're working on an album. And uh, because we're preparing, we actually are going to, we've been just recently announced, we're going to be performing at the House of Blues in New Orleans on Halloween at the Eternal Night Vampire Ball, along with Gabrielle Faust. And so we're kind of like, you know, we've been learning how to play guitars and stuff. And so, but in the meantime, we've been in the studio, we said, you know, Acon's coming up, and I normally do a rules video. Well, we said, well, while we're doing this, we haven't done anything for the rules, and we thought, you know, what if we did a legitimate song and actually released it as part of our album that specified one of the Akon rules and actually produced it? I mean, it really is a, is a, is a main thing. And so we have done that, and what I have tonight is I have the world premiere of Savage Gypsy's latest single that is specifically written for Akon and it is part of what we're going to do every year, Mary. We're going to write a new song with a new music video for our, every year for Akon based on one of the rules. And we're calling it the Project Akon Rule Series from Savage Gypsy. And so this is also our band's officially first music video, which we weren't really expecting, but we, we kind of had a lot of fun doing it. And we hope you guys really enjoy it, take it to heart, and this is what uh, we're going to show you. So, this is Savage Gypsy and our latest release, which was released on iTunes today, and also released on YouTube today.
Gypsy, Eric Jane, and Megan Miller. What do you think, Meg? I think I'm going to be humming that bang song all weekend. We'll be walking around. It's going to get stuck in your head. It's already got the stuck except for people's heads. <laughs> So that's it. So every here we're going to do a little bit in the country should use this. All of them. Every sporting event. It, it's applicable to every place. Thank you, Tony. That was pretty darn funny. And it was good music. It was good music. We wanted to do something poppy and anime and that kind of deal, so. And available on iTunes. Yes. Huh? Guys are not actually going to 